One of the major questions for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings coming into the season is what was going to happen at the center position? Were they going to sign J.C. Treader? Were they going to trade for a center? Were they going to draft a guy like Tyler Lindebaum from Iowa or Cam Jurgens from Nebraska? What was going to happen at center? Because, I mean, Garrett Bradbury, of course, like he wasn't going to be the guy. Uh, the former uh, 18 overall pick in the 2019 draft, the Grim Reacher coming out of North Carolina, come on and raise up. Uh, obviously, he had three years uh, not to, uh, well, three three years to secure the job. He hadn't done it. Uh, he He's been PFF's lowest graded pass blocking center three years in a row. Win, play, show. That's a trifecta that no one wants. And they were going to move on, right? And all off season, yes, we've been trying to find a way to, I don't know, replace him with Chris Reed or Austin Schlutman or in the draft next year, Jared Patterson or the Gopher Center. Absolutely love him, man. Or move Wyatt Davis to center. I don't know. Don't know. There, there's a lot of things. Just make the Kenny Clark nightmares end. But respect. Even though we tried to replace him, Garrett Bradbury has been playing some of the best football of his career. He's looking phenomenal. And the whole uh, mama, I can change him motif, that new offensive line cro coach Chris Cooper, uh, new offensive coordinator Wes Phillips, new head coach Kevin O'Connell went with. They saw the potential. Bradbury was a first-round pick for a reason, and it's been panning out so far. And got to say, I love to see it, man. And Bradbury did the whole added 15 pounds of muscle, hopefully all in that ass. And he is holding up better in one-on-one -on -one situations, man. Bradbury this season, 133 pass blocking opportunities, seven pressures allowed, a 5.3% pressure rate, average around the league for starting centers is around 8-9%. Uh, zero goose egg, D'Angelo Russell, sacks allowed, love to see it. 4.9 rushing yards per carry, which is tied for eighth best in the league, as well as uh, very nice. Muy bueno, 69.8 overall PFF grade, sixth best in the NFL among centers, which we'll take. I mean, even if Bradbury were just middle of the pack in everything, I would certainly take that. But Bradbury is exceeding expectations quietly. He's really getting it done. And Kirk Cousins is still getting pressured at 35.2% of his dropbacks this year. He had It was about 33% last season, 38 in 2020. But it's a different kind of pressure, right? There's a big difference between just getting mauled one-on-one -on -one and getting thrown into Kirk Cousins' lap like we've seen uh, Garrett Bradbury uh, do for the last three seasons, right? But the majority of pressure has been off of the Blitz. Now, the Blitz, it's a different animal, right? So they're bringing extra rushers, and that's more about chemistry. That's more about communication between the offensive line, the tight ends, the running back, as well as on Kirk Cousins. Like, when he sees the pressure coming, he, he's got to know he's got to get rid of the ball quickly, right? So that is fixable, right? So that, that is doable in season what is not fixable is like we mentioned that one-on-one -on -one, hey your guy kicked your ass that whole thing like that you're sunk and the vikings up front have gotten a lot better in terms of communicating on simple games tne stunts all that stuff and the vikings knock on all the wood they got the makings of what could and should be a fantastic offensive line. Left to right, Christian Derrissaw is emerging as a Pro Bowl All-Pro type player. Ezra Cleveland is fantastic, really settling into guard, always looking for work. Garrett Bradbury, like we mentioned, is looking phenomenal this season. Ed Ingram, a second-round pick out of LSU, is throwing dudes out of the club, looking really fa fantastic. And Brian O'Neill is already playing at an All-Pro level at right tackle. So... The offensive line is getting stuff together, and the offense, it's been herky-jerky, helter-skelter at times. Kirk Cousins, Kevin O'Connell, play calling, Justin Jefferson getting double and trickle, triple teamed. I, I understand that, but the offensive line, which was the major issue coming into the season, and Garrett Bradbury was a major question mark. So far, he's answered those questions. Man. Like, oh, the Geno Smith line. People wrote him off. He ain't right back. Whoa. Love it, man. Love, love it. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Garrett Bradbury just... We pride ourselves on this channel of calling a spade a spade, and Bradbury just wasn't it through the first three seasons. But the whole Cooper, O'Connell, Phillips, mama, I can change him. So far they have. Again, knock on all the wood. Hopefully this continues and extrapolates over the full season and playoffs and Super Bowl, uh, but we'll see. But your thoughts are thoughts. Garrett Bradbury's playing the best football of his damn career, and you love to see it. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.